Hey there, creepy peeps. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, welcome back. If you are returning, it's time for more quarantine and chill. Okay guys, so we have almost, not quite, but almost reached the end of our hidden gems on various streaming service series or quarantine and chill as I'm calling it because that's shorter and more memorable sounding. <laughs> and I have to be honest, between all of these streaming services, it is getting harder to pull like hidden gems out of all of them. Um, and there are a lot of movies that I've previously talked about that overlap on multiple streaming services. So fair warning, I don't think all of the movies I'm gonna be talking about today are exactly hidden gems, but they definitely all fall under the under talked about criteria. So anyways, let's get into some movie recommendations. First up is Hatchet, which follows a group of tourists on a New Orleans haunted swamp tour when they become stranded in the wilderness at the mercy of a violent slasher named Victor Crowley. Many of you guys might have probably have already seen Hatchet, but if you haven't and you like fun, cheesy, campy slasher movies with really good gore practical effects, then you need to watch Hatchet. Like, some of the practical effects that you see in this movie are just so memorable. <laughs> You're gonna see some of these kills, one in particular, which I've talked about before, but I won't talk about again because I don't want to spoil too much, but you're gonna remember some certain kills in there for a very long time and that has a lot to do with the practical effects that were used in those kills. The next one might slightly be controversial or might just lose me points with a lot of you and that is 13 Ghosts from 2001. What? I like it. <laughs> it follows a family that inherits a spectacular house from an eccentric uncle. Trapped in the house by constantly shifting walls, the family encounters powerful and vengeful entities that threaten to annihilate anyone in their path. This one, to me, is just like quintessential aughts horror. Way too much cheese than there really needed to be. CGI that has not aged well but it's a low-key and by low-key I mean high-key fun as fuck movie. I gotta say the ghosts are pretty fucking scary and the makeup effects that are done on the ghosts are actually quite good. <laughs> Plus Matthew Lillard, so I rest my case. The next one I want to suggest is Battle Royale. Y'all know I had to throw at least one Asian horror movie in there. This movie takes place in a dystopian Japan where the government picks a class of adolescents and forces them to kill each other until only one is standing. So this was The Hunger Games before The Hunger Games was a thing and it's like 20 times more violent and bloody than The Hunger Games. <laughs> so if you liked anything about those books slash those movies you need to watch Battle Royale. I absolutely love this movie. The characters are so likable. Even the ones that are, you know, just part of the body count. Like you, you get to know them at least a teensy bit and like them at least a little bit, which for me is extremely important. Especially in a fight to the death situation, the more characters you care about, the more tense you are throughout the movie. And I feel like this movie does that exceedingly well. As you would expect from many a violent J-horror movie, there are a lot of blood and gore moments that seem like slightly over the top. I feel like Battle Royale kind of toes that line perfectly where like the bloody and gory and violent moments are maybe a teensy bit over the top, but they never go too far to where it becomes ridiculous. Next on my list is House of Wax from 2005. This is one of two remakes of this story, so I'm sure you know the gist of it. Um, in this particular one, a group of teens stumble upon an abandoned town with a sinister secret. Chad Michael Murray, Jared Padalecki, Paris Hilton. This cast is iconic. <laughs> It's a fun remake, I think, with some pretty decent gore moments. Like, I cringe so badly every time that Achilles tendon scene happens. Ugh. Also, the soundtrack fucking slaps. I feel like if you liked any one of those things that I mentioned, you have no other choice 
but to watch this movie and yes I absolutely am biased and have a huge soft spot for this movie because this was the first R-rated movie that ya girl snuck into. The next one is kind of an oldie but a goodie and that is Buffy the Vampire Slayer the movie from the year I was born. So the story, a high school teenager finds out she's part of a long line of vampire slayers. This movie is so iconic. I love Christy Swanson as Buffy. No shade, no tea to Sarah Michelle Gellar, but Christy is my Buffy. Plus we have Donald Sutherland, Hilary Swank, Paul Rubens, and Luke Perry. Name a more iconic cast. It's a lot cheesy, a lot campy, and a lot of fun. If you like Buffy at all and you still haven't seen this movie, please do yourself a favor and watch this. Next up is The Belco Experiment, which takes place in an office building where 80 employees are trapped and ordered by an unknown voice to start killing each other. So this one came out just before Mayhem did and I feel like it kind of got overshadowed a little bit by Mayhem. Not saying that Mayhem is a bad movie, they're both really good and extremely similar. But comparing the two, I like the moral dilemma just a little bit more in Belko Experiment without giving too much away the premise of the movie, which is shown in the trailer if you've seen the trailer at all. The voice orders the employees to kill a certain number of employees within a time limit and if they fail the orchestrators of this experiment are going to kill a larger number of employees. So it becomes this like Lord of Flies battle royale kind of situation and it's fun to watch the movie and try and put yourself in the shoes of the employees like what would you do would you kill a smaller number of people to save more of you or are you going to take the high road and refuse to kill anybody but potentially damn yourself really fun movie to watch in a group setting as well i know we can't really do that right now <laughs> but there's stuff like skype and discord where you can watch with other people so highly recommend doing that if you want to check out this movie Another oldie, but one that I feel like <laughs> doesn't get nearly as much love um, as it should, it's People Under the Stairs. The movie follows a young kid who breaks into the house of his family's landlords only to discover they have a sinister secret hiding within the walls of their house. So this is one of those movies that can be enjoyed in many ways. You can just take it at surface level and enjoy a kind of campy, a little bit quirky, spooky tale. Or you can dive a little bit deeper into the story to see themes of classism and racism that are present in the movie. I feel like if we took A Nightmare on Elm Street and Scream out of the equation and looked at Wes Craven's, <laughs> the rest of Wes Craven's body of work, I feel like the people under the stairs would have to be somewhere near the top as one of his best. The next one is a cheesy horror comedy because out of all these streaming service recommendations videos I've done, you guys seem to like when I recommend those the most. So I'm going to recommend that you watch Cooties. The movie follows the staff of an elementary school that becomes stranded when a zombie-like virus breaks out but only seems to affect the students. This movie has one of the most star-studded casts that I've seen, including Elijah Wood, Rain Wilson, and Lee Whannell, the latter two gentlemen being the scene stealers for the entire movie. It's got a really good balance of like silly humor and dry humor, so I feel like pretty much anybody can enjoy the humor in this movie. And as an added bonus, if you're like me and kids tend to get on your nerves a little bit, it's kind of cathartic to see all of these adults kicking the shit out of these zombie children. I'm really into suggesting the oldies today, it seems. So the second to last one I want to recommend to you is Idle Hands. Which stars 90s heartthrob Devin Sawa as stoner Anton whose hand gets possessed. Yep, that's the plot. Think the anime Parasite, but no alien life form. This movie is not deep or hard hitting in any way. It's quite stupid and silly actually, but that's the fun of watching the movie. It's one of those perfect distraction movies, which I feel like we all need right about now. And it has a lot of familiar faces in the cast, including Seth Green and Jessica Alba. And finally, I want to recommend The Final Girls from 2015, not to be confused with 
final girl, also from 2015. <laughs> the Final Girls follows a young woman who is grieving the loss of her mother, a famous scream queen from the 80s. She finds herself pulled into the world of her mom's most famous movie where she has to live out the plot in order to get out. As you can probably tell from the summary, this is a meta slasher, aka one of my favorite things about the horror genre. I love how they take this self-reflexive slasher idea and literally put the main cast of characters in the movie. So we got a little bit of Inception going on where it's a movie within a movie. <laughs> but it is a really good spin on the slasher genre. And of course you have all these modern teens being put into a cheesy 80s slasher. So there's a lot of humor there, but the mother daughter relationship is really gonna get you in the feels, I promise. Not only that, but this movie is definitely gonna remind you how good of a song Betty Davis Eyes is. It's just a fun and adorable movie that needs to be seen. All right, so there you have it. Those are 10 definitely under talked about movies that you can find on Vudu right now. So hopefully there's at least one movie on that list that you haven't yet seen and I've suggested something new to you at least one time. I just have one more streaming service to go through and one more idea that doesn't exactly include a streaming service. You'll see when I do the video. And with those two videos, we'll finish out this impromptu coronavirus inspired series. Thank you guys so much for watching these. A few of them are pulling over a thousand views, which is a lot for my channel. I don't even have 5,000 subscribers, so a thousand views on a video is a lot. So really, thank you. I'm so glad you guys are enjoying these and I'm so glad that I can at least give you guys a few suggestions while you're stuck at home during this time. Speaking of that, I hope you all are staying safe and healthy. Um, as always, please, if you know of any movies like hidden gems or under talked about films that you can find on Vudu, leave them in the comment section down below for your fellow horror fans and myself also. Really quick, I wanna thank my creepy patron peeps for their support of my channel. Thank you guys so, so much. If you wanna find out the perks to being a creepy patron peep, you can follow that link in the description. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here, become a creepy peep today. I post videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys very, very soon. Until then though, stay strange. Bye.